I've been waiting for months to do this. I've been accumulating stuff for it as I've ordered things in the mail. And now art fam, I have a box full of trash, literal trash. But this isn't just any trash. This is a bunch of that brown packing paper. And this stuff is like gold at Christmas, okay? We're gonna make our own wrapping paper. Let's do it. Why shouldn't I? I have markers, I have paint, I have nail polish, I have unicorn milk taken from the unicorns themselves. Okay, but seriously, hear me out. This is gonna be a great time. If you want cute wrapping paper for Christmas, you don't have to spend a fortune. You can use the trash you have at home and make it into something cute. So yeah, I'm gonna show you what I plan on doing. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but I'm imagining it's gonna be cute. I'm hoping it's gonna be cute. Anyway, I think this is a really great way to reuse and recycle things that we already have. Let's just get started. I love Christmas. This is the best time of year. Aside from summer. The desk is looking festive and ready for some trash. Let's just take a piece. Okay, so before I decorate this one, we're gonna do a lot of pieces in this video and it might be complex, it might be simple. It just ranges from piece to piece of paper. But I have this little gift here. This is from Grove Collaborative. It is a Twilight Wonder limited edition soap dispenser. And I bought the refill to go with it, the soap. I think this, oh, this is perfect size for this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, for this one, particularly, this is kind of a weird one. We're gonna wrap it first and then, do I have scissors? Do I have scissors? Trim it to the desired size. We have our lovely tape. I wrap with so much tape and I'm kind of proud of it. There's this small chaotic part of me that loves making unwrapping presents somewhat annoying for the receiver by using too much tape. And there are certain people, like my friend Leah, who doesn't know this, but I completely laminated her entire gift in tape, one of them. So I can't wait to watch her try to open it. So you may be wondering, okay, why did you wrap this one before you drew on it? That's kind of, I don't know, illogical. Well, 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 let me tell you why. I apparently don't have a black marker. I just have super dark blue. Hmm. We're gonna take a marker, two of them perhaps, and we're going to make this box look like it was drawn, kind of, in a weird way, a roundabout weird way. You can use whatever color you desire when you do this. We are going to draw the edges on every side of this box and intentionally leave a gap on every side. You'll see. There's the first one. If you mess up, it's okay. It's literally gonna get ripped up on Christmas anyway. Unless you gift to a careful unwrapper. This is the fun part about this. You're gonna make the box look kind of sketched. Okay, let's move on to this side. This one is super easy. Even if you don't really care for drawing, I would say this one is pretty easy. Okay, so this is the box so far. Let's dress it up a little bit. I have this gold ribbon I could use, this cream color ribbon, or we could go with navy blue. I kind of like the navy blue. I'm gonna mix it with gold just to give it a fun pop. There we go. This is a fairly simple gift. I'm going to keep it like that because less is sometimes more, but I do need a marker. Let's take this glitter pen. 
Super simple, super easy, yet classy. I really enjoyed this one because it feels like something, like a parcel you would get in the mail. I have no idea how large these are. So that's the exciting part. Oh, a fun little square piece. I should put a disclaimer. The wrapping paper I have is kind of like more the size for smaller gifts. I could piece it together for larger ones, but actually a lot of the things I have left to wrap are kind of small anyway. So this one is unique. And when I say unique, I mean it doesn't require much to do this one. I'm literally going to take the nail polish off of my own hands. It doesn't even look that nice right now because washing dishes and stuff like that. Let's take our crusty palette, our unicorn milk. I keep wanting to say unicorn blood because of Harry Potter. Unicorn milk. I did not sacrifice the unicorn. Put this on our palette. I'm going to use these two bottles of nail polish, that unicorn milk, and just put dots all over it, like sloppy dots. Because you know what? I've seen that on trendy wrapping papers. So I'm gonna make my own. Start with this one. <laughs> Psych. Now we've got it. I love doing this kind of stuff because yeah, I'm just using what I already have. And I think it's really meaningful for people who get presents that are either handmade or the wrapping paper is handmade. One color is done. Let's take my, probably one of my favorite nail polish colors it's called Worth a Pretty Penny. Oh my goodness. This is so cute. What a vibe. I'm loving this. Look at the shimmer. Let's do another one now. So this one, oh no. I thought I had a white Posca pen. Hmm, let's go look. Surely there's a white one in here, right? Hmm, I'm not seeing one. Ooh, I did just find. Some other nice things we can use. We can just use paint and our already crusty palette. Crusty paint brushes and semi-crusty dotting tools at the ready. So crinkly. Let's take this white paint. And you guessed it, folks. We're doing snowflakes. This one is really nice because you can make them all unique. It's very simple. It's just repetitious. This is a super chill holiday activity. I love this. That's a very simple snowflake. I'm gonna leave it. Oh, that's my favorite one so far. Ooh, I'm gonna do hearts on all of these little snowflake branches. Doing hearts again on this one, it just seemed fitting. Sometimes things just flow out of your paintbrush. A very asymmetrical snowflake. <laughs> Looks kind of like a cookie, but we're having fun and that's what matters. Let's do a really big wonky snowflake over here. It may not fit in with the rest, but it's okay. It's good to be different. Okay, I think we need like one more snowflake right here. Time for this dotting tool. Oh, this is adorable. Super simple too. Now comes the fun part. I'm gonna take this unicorn milk and just do some iridescent giant snowflakes here and there. That way our wrapping paper has some shimmer to it because if you know me, I love glitter and shimmer at Christmas time, pretty much only. <laughs> Ta-da! 
This one was super fun, incredibly easy, incredibly approachable, and it still looks aesthetically pleasing. Let's see if I can talk my husband into doing one of these with me. <laughs> really what needs to happen is you need to sit in this chair and lower it and then I sit in that chair because then... But people think we're the same height and that's a lie. How do you expect me to draw on a table this high? I'll lower it. No, I'm good. It's fine. I like it. Where is it? Okay. Well, this chair really wobbly. Guess what, folks? My Wait, husband... Wait, you have to do it again. Okay. <laughs> Um, can you uh, powder my nose, please? <laughs> we got my husband to join us in making some wrapping paper. Here is our box of trash. We're coloring trash. Yep. So, how this works, we just take a piece. They came in a bunch of little sheets, which is kind of convenient. I have glittery paint, all these Posca pens. There's markers over there. There's unicorn milk in a pile. That's a paint handle to paint with. <sighs> my paintbrush just went into my paint. Anyway, all that to say there's a lot to choose from. There's even fancy dotting tools if you want to do like. Well, you're gonna need a lot of dots. Yep. I've never used a Posca pen. For real? Yeah. Well, isn't so that new, funny? It's, I have it's to watch your first time day. experience. You ready? I'm doing... <gasps> Just kidding. Oh, they're not very thick. It's okay. Ready? It's like a sine wave. Remember that? Yep. Good old mathematics. We had a lot of those classes together in college. I am going to also use Posca pens. I'm gonna use brown. Cozy coffee mugs. Oh, that's cute. I'm doing lines. That's what you're doing? Mm hmm. I think so. Looks pretty festive. So, Dora, do you wanna tell the art fam how you're doing lately? Art fam, I'm a little tired, but I'm good. <laughs> Is that what you want? <laughs> The truth. Yeah. <laughs> Guess what, guys? Children, they're exhausting. They're great. They're, they're really, they, they take a lot of effort. Yep. Just letting you know. Sleep deprivation is real, but we are happy. And yeah, things are good. And also, just in case you didn't notice, your what's your role in this family? Me? Are you the mom? Are you the fear the fe your fearless leader in this art family has been working really hard. Am I the mom to the art? Yeah, family? yeah. That's, that's weird. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm like a sibling of the art. Oh, okay, family. your older sister. We're all sibbies. Your older sister. She's been working really hard. Yep. So just be grateful <laughs> for the endless stream of content she has been pumping out. Good times. Ooh, I should, I don't know why I'm drawing this particular mug upside down. I don't know why I made these, but this, I feel pretty all these curves so sharp, but whatever. Sharp? What do you mean? Well, they were less curves and more like, I just can't see because I'm right handed, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. Like, you could go the uh, Listen, that would be hard. Just listen. Just never mind. I got it. I believe you. It looks good. Um, what else? I'm almost finished becoming a doctor. Well, I mean a doctor already, but finishing my training, which feels good. That keeps me busy. A good busy. Like he it. loves helping people. This one is going to have closed eyes. But a happy mouth. Uh oh. I just. You ever just you smudge at you? Wait, I thought Posca pens were supposed to dry so fast. Is that the thing? Uh -huh. Is that what they do? I don't know. Is that what they're 
don't think they're average. When I asked you for what, oh no, that was Copix. We were talking about yeah, Copics. it's Copix. Just kidding. Yeah. Sorry, I got my markers confused. <laughs> Can't believe it. It's a very satisfying shake. Isn't it? Want to yeah. get together? <laughs> it makes you feel powerful. Oh, is that what it does? Yeah, like I'm an empowered artist. I just shook my Posca pen. Wow. I didn't even think about that. This one's going to have a really squished face. Oh, I Poor see guy. what you're doing. Do you like it? Mm hmm I do. The problem is it's not quite, you know, centered. You can just tuck that piece. That can be the no. piece you tuck under and I nobody refuse. sees it. Listen, it's going to be something obnoxious. Determined, huh? And it's just going to be like, and then there was orange in this corner. That's what happens. <gasps> Sometimes they explode. But if you make a mistake on my channel, it's okay and you roll with it. You got to sue Posca. No. They ruined your They mug. helped me improvise. <laughs> Okay, can I have another paper? Ooh, you're doing another one? Okay. Well, I don't, was I only supposed to do one? Because you're still going, you know, because you're so slow. Yeah, the pro here is beating me. Oh, wait, do you want to hold it up and show them? This is the... <laughs> <laughs> A piece I like to call swirly lines of various colors. But all of the words in that title are lowercase. There's no capital letters. So that it feels more artistic. Throw it on the floor. It's usually what, what we What are do we here. actually wrapping with these? They're so small. Socks, stockings. Oh, actually, I have something to wrap for you. Chapstick. I, I'm gonna eat. I, want my I want my piece. Okay. <laughs> what? what? Just getting it settled. <laughs> you got a lot more mugs to draw, so. Alright, now I have to think about what I'm gonna do. Dude, look at this little mug. He's happy anxiety, he just doesn't know it yet. I agree. What do you think of that guy? I think that he's super sad deep down inside because he really wants to taste what's inside of him, but he can't reach. What about now? Now he looks... <laughs> should draw one with this like massive tongue dipping into its own mug. I'm doing it! Okay. Giving me Kool-Aid man vibes. <laughs> yeah, he does look like it. I'm not sure if that really conveys a tone. What are you? Oh, you're bringing Sticky back? Yeah, man. <laughs> what color should it say? I guess innards be. Innards? Green. <laughs> well, you're a lot faster than me. <laughs> I'm gonna do some gingerbread men. All right, that's it. Can I have another one? Yes. This is to remind whoever's gonna get this present. I can't, <laughs> I can't hear you. Wait, are there any smaller pieces? <laughs> you wanna pull that and just see? You can cut it if you want. This is just to remind whoever gets this present not to, it's hair. Not to get a big head about what they're about to get. <laughs> it's gonna be a rock. Yeah, it probably is. You should like wrap a box with like a piece of string. 
like a Q-tip in a stone and That's give nice. it to them. Literally what I was going to give you for Christmas. But I guess I won't since you ruined the surprise. <laughs> Have you guys who are right-handed ever used a left-handed scissors? It's not comfortable. Just saying. Welcome to every day of my life as a lefty using righty thing. Sorry you were born that way. I'm not. Isn't this therapeutic? What's that gonna be? They're gingerbread men. You know, have you ever thought about why do gingerbread men get buttons if they're not wearing clothes? The button, no, they are wearing clothes. The buttons like represent their clothes. They have a shirt on. You just can't Googling. see the sleeves. Googling. The buttons like mean like this is a closed gingerbread man. What are you typing? Tell us what you're typing in Google. Gingerbread man. Yeah. I see? guess it is implied. It is. There's even sleeves. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Oh, did you need this marker? No. Oh. Do you think that's enough gingerbread man? Oh, no, I'll do one there. I'm deciding what to draw. I lost my white Posca pen. That's all. Okay, now... I'm gonna do blush on all the gingerbread men. Oh my goodness. I mean, on all the. Wow, that just. What? Blobbed. All my little muggies have cute blush. Polka dots. Well, it wasn't going to be, but then a flood of purple emerged. So, you know what? On this channel, we improvise. We do. Embrace yeah. it. Enjoy the process. Wow, look. Is that the tagline? I got this little spludge. Spludge. Smudge. <laughs> Splatterudge. <laughs> Can you define that for me? Um. <laughs> I feel like I'm using up all your purple. That's okay, I have another one. My gingerbread men are looking a little creepy. Your gingerbread men <laughs> look like they are out to eat you. <laughs> Should I maybe outline them in this color too? I don't know, something. <laughs> they don't particularly look friendly. <laughs> <laughs> or edible. <laughs> <laughs> they look a little uh, deranged. <laughs> <laughs> but why do they have four little? Oh, it's their mouths. Yeah, is that what that's supposed to be? Little button mouths. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> button mouths are designed for eating people, maybe. Okay, I have a question. Okay. Why are these Posca pens? They're clearly markers. Because. Um. Ooh, I'm drawing suspenders on this one. Because they have acrylic paint inside. Why does that make them a pen? <laughs> They're probably called Posca paint markers. I don't actually know. I just call them Posca pens. Well, I'm sure this says, but I don't know that language, so... I have very distinct memories of these when grandma owned a restaurant and she let me go back in her office and you know those like floppy disks? She had a Posca pen to write on her floppy disks. You know those like before CDs? Yeah. She had a Posca pen to like say what it was. I very much remember a Posca pen being in her little office cup. I remember floppy disks. We had one that had a demo for Oregon Trail. It was a treasure. It was the coolest game ever. Comment down below if you played Oregon Trail on the computer as a kid. Or Oregon Trail 2, which is superior. Okay. Especially if you ever, you know, died of dysentery <laughs> while on the trail. Do you know what that you know how you do you know, do you know? Ooh, that is not yellow. <laughs> that is not yellow. This one also has suspenders. Hey, what's wrong with this? Dude. Do you like little me right here? <laughs> They're all big and cute and then there's like me. Is that how he put, sounds or what his name I'm is? I'm gonna put a ray of sunlight around me. 
because <laughs> that's his name now. Me is meant to shine. <laughs> hmm, should I do anything else with mine? I feel like maybe I should. Just because I'm going, you're just, you know. I'm doing da lashes just like you. <laughs> okay. I'm copying you. Uh, well, you Art should be. <laughs> 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 there it is. There it is. I call this dots and smaller dots and also dashes on a paper. But it's all lowercase letters, not capital. Riveting. <laughs> yes. What do you call this? I call this gingerbreads, caffeine. Just gingerbread Gingerbreads caffeine. and caffeinated cuties. In me. Gingerbread caffeine, that's good. I like it. And then... <laughs> <laughs> anyway. That's fun. This was fun. Thank you for being in a video with me. For decorating I'm always everything. happy to display my artistic talent to the world. You know? You gotta share what you got. <laughs> You are very talented as an artist, actually. I have shown you folks the minis that he paints in our basement. Dragons. Mm -hmm. Houses. That's true. I do do that. <clears throat> creepy D&D &D creatures that have, like, multiple eyes. So many cool things. That's a thing. I'm proud of you. Thanks for watching and hanging out with us. I hope you enjoyed this. Remember, you can literally make wrapping paper with whatever you have at home. We used trash. At one point, I used nail polish. You did? I did. Cool. The same nail polish I'm I have I'm excited to see it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, you got some yellow on it too. I could maybe wrap one of your gifts with it, but I think I wrapped all of yours. Mm. I can wrap a gift with it. I will wrap a gift with it. There is one that I can't. All right, thank you for watching. I'll see you again in a couple days. I'll see you again four to six months, maybe, maybe a year, give or take. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. <clears throat> okay. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Ooh. <laughs> Are you taking pictures or are you videoing? I'm videoing. <laughs> 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 it's metallic. Ooh, that one's metallic too, I forgot. Ooh. I like <laughs> that guy's pretty cool. Oh, dripping, dripping. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's like still going. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you like kind of did an L. Oh, another one's dripping too. Which one? There's one right there. I know you can't see that actually. <laughs>